Hi! In this episode of Toys Back Zen, I'm going to be taking these two Yodas here that I was planning on restoring, and I'm going to make a belt. And I also used my resin 3D printer to 3D print these snakes and canes. So stay tuned, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So I got these 3D prints on Thingiverse from a guy there. I'm going to put his link in the description so that you can go to Thingiverse and get yourself some of these files so you can 3D print and give some love to the guy that made these 3D prints. They look really good. The detail is fantastic. They look pretty much original. Now depending on your 3D printer, whether it's resin or PLA I think it's called, um, they may come out a little different, maybe a different shape. Sometimes they stretch, sometimes they shrink, whatever. But I think they look really good. Now I've got this guy here. He doesn't have a cape, but he has a different colored eyes. And I'm also going to be making some belts. And I found this at a dollar store. It's like a rack for when you clean your knives. And I'm going to use a little bit of polystyrene. And I've got a file here and a nail file and we're gonna see if we can make some belts. First I gotta figure out which figures I want to use. I'm only gonna keep two of them. If we look in the back you can see that they have the exact same thing printed on them 1980. So there's no variation of his COOs or anything like that. So pretty much the variations are in their eye colors you can see a little bit of a variation in their skin color too. Yoda is also known to have a variation in his belt, but all of their belts are exactly the same. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to get into my Star Wars book here and I've got to try to match these paint colors to the original uh, accessories and it's really hard to do that when you're looking at pictures. This is Vallejo acrylic paints. It's a matte paint and we're gonna see if we can get an orange that's gonna match Alright, let's look at the book. It's pretty close. It's a little too orange I may have to add some yellow to that. So looking at the original snake on the mat there, you can see how it's quite shiny. So I put a, a enamel lacquer and it gives it that kind of shine that the original one had because it was too matte. I had like a semi-gloss on it before. So I think the shiny gloss looks much better. And then we've got these guys underneath. You know them. Now Kenner made a variation color on the snakes and I'm going to recreate that. Here's the three uh, acrylic paints that I'm using to make the color that I want. And in this uh, Star Wars catalog here you can see I'm going to try to use this picture for the color. And the book I like to use is The Ultimate Guide to Vintage Star Wars Action Figures by Mark Belomo and I'm going to be using this as my guide. I also bought some new highly needed paint brushes so that's what I got. I got those at the dollar store. I really do like the ones that are kind of a nylon um, paint bristle. They work really good. So there's my color there. I think it looks pretty close so we're going to use that.
for the cane, I'm going to be using the same paints, except I'm just going to be using a black and the same brown Vallejo acrylic. Here's the color, it looks pretty close. Since the beginning of the filming of this video, I've acquired another Yoda here. You can see on the far right, I have a Yoda that has his original snake and his original belt. That cane is the reproduction one. But now I have his belt and I am going to be making a belt, which means I can use this belt to help me get it a little bit more accurate to the original one. Plus I have an original snake or serpent that I can use to see how accurate these 3D printed snakes are. Now let's get on to making the belts. So I've taken this rubber here and I've cut it up with my X-Acto knife and using a ruler. And I've got a bunch of strips to simulate the belt. I'm just cutting all the pieces out of rubber too, like the lightsaber and the pouches. And I'm just going to glue these to the rubber. Hopefully this crazy glue will work. It's Gorilla Glue. And there's the first version of my belt. Now I came up with another idea to try to be more accurate with the size and I've printed some templates on paper. I think I've got the right size and now I'm just going to cut these out with my X-Acto knife. And this is what I've come up with. And the reason why I'm going through these really quickly is because I've decided to make a belt a little differently because now I have the original Yoda here with an original belt and I can use this and I always thought this was more like a rubber material that they used to make this but it's actually a pretty hard plastic I'm sure these break all the time now that these are you know pretty brittle so I have to be careful with this but you can see how I had the first one when I glued these pieces on I had the spacing off quite a bit and then when I use the template it's a little bit better but I found that cutting it out with an exacto knife didn't really give me a nice clean cut so I've decided to use these cable ties that I found on Amazon they're four inches long and they are in the brown color but I've got this styrene and it kinda has the same texture as that pouch there and with my other pouch I'm just going to use regular styrene and I've got this really thin stuff too that I'm going to be using for creating the flap for over the pouch so let me do that I'm going to cut all this stuff out and we'll see what it looks like when I get it all glued together
Now, although it's not accurate, the guard on this lightsaber is round, and so I've cut those pieces out with a hole punch, and I'm using this two millimeter styrene rod here to finish the look of the lightsaber. Now, the guard on the lightsaber is quite thick, and my styrene is not that thick, so I've taken two of those round pieces and glued them together and I'm just taking my pin vise here and I'm drilling a hole in to the guard so that I can put the piece of round styrene into it and create the lightsaber I'm trying to recreate from the original. For the pouches on the belt, I'm just going to be using this Tamiya XF10 and X2 enamel paints.
before I reveal what I've done, I just want to show you the materials I use for making the belts. I've got this Evergreen Scale Models Styrene. It's odds and ends number 9002. It's uh, just like a kit of styrene sheets. It's got different colors in it. It has black and white and textures. And you've seen all of the styrene that I've used in a lot of my repair videos. And uh, this is what it's good for using. There's the UPC code there too in case you want to get some for yourself. But it's just a good uh, kit with all kinds of different thicknesses that you can use for making stuff and it's a great starter kit for anybody getting into this and you're not really sure what to get and then with the cable ties I have these here there's the code there if you want to check it out I got these at Amazon you can get the evergreen stuff on Amazon too I got the evergreen stuff at my local model shop if you want to make your own belts then these are the materials I used if you like what I've done here so here's my four Yodas the first three on the left they're the uh, original ones that I had in the beginning of the video, but the one on the right is the one I acquired just recently. And I'm going to keep him all original with his original uh, soft goods, his original snake, and his belt. As for the other three, I switched the cape from this guy over to the guy in the middle because I wanted a variation uh, since I've made some variation accessories and I switched uh, the um, soft goods over from this guy over to this guy and that way I have a variation of eye colors uh, along with um, soft good colors I'm not sure if that's the colors are different because of age but they are a little bit different color and the skin tone on these two guys are different color now you can see here we've got those two variation snakes I love that a lot and we have the canes too but I also made the belts and they look really good I'm really happy with how they turned out putting these on the figures they're gonna display really nicely and I'm gonna have uh, three really nice versions of Yoda in my collection hopefully someday I can find an original cane Here's a closer look at those belts. You can see I use the cable tie. You can see the texture and the detail on the pouches that I made. I made a little flap on the right pouch and the middle pouch was just the texture of the polystyrene that I was using. We've got our, our uh, laser sword. So they turned out pretty good. But taking a look at the snakes we can see we have the brown variant and I think the colors turned out pretty good I really like the brown on this snake it's really hard to know what color to paint them when you're looking in pictures and you can see the original snake here I did get the orange a little off it's a little too orange where the original one it has a lot more yellow in it all right, I'm going to take a few minutes off camera and I'm going to get all these guys with their accessories on and we'll see what they look like. And here they are. They look fantastic. They're going to look great on display in my collection room. Also, if you make these belts, let me know. I would love to see your version of the belts. If you go into the description below, you'll see my email. I would love to see some pictures of what you've made or a link to maybe your Instagram where I can look at your pictures to see if you've made the belts like the ones that I've shown you today. So thanks for watching and may the force be with you.